A massive swap deal reportedly involving Chelsea, Juventus, AC Milan and two high profile strikers could be in the making. Barcelona have unveiled their latest signing, but is Philippe Coutinho's future suddenly in doubt? Real Madrid, meanwhile, look to be out to add some youth to their squad, while we seem to have found the one person who doesn't want to be at Liverpool FC. All that, as well as my Friday feels for this last show of the week, I'm Paddy, again filling in for Matt for the last time. Let's get started. But first to that rumoured swap deal with Gonzalo Higuain being the key piece. He seems to be the sizeable solution to Maurizio Sarri's problems up front. While Eden Hazard has helped cover the hole there, it seems that Alvaro Morata has not justified his big price tag, while Olivia Giroud is only a backup at best. And with Sari knowing Higuain from their time at Napoli together, the deal makes a bit of sense. Higuain is on loan at Milan from Juventus, but Milan are open for the move. He scored five goals for the Serie A club, but hasn't really convinced the Milan faithful. Morata would likely play a role in the move going the other way to Milan. He has 22 goals in blue, but like Higuain has really failed to convince on a consistent basis. He has, of course, moved in 2017 for 60 million pounds, so there were always big expectations. So who wins this one? Chelsea get a striker their coach trusts, but have to cut losses on an expensive buy. Milan, on the other hand, get a 26-year-old who could still be anything, but has big doubts on his confidence. Let us know in the comments below. Now to Spain, where Barcelona have officially unveiled their new signing, Jason Murillo from Valencia on loan. This transfer was of course announced some days ago, but the journalists there took the opportunity to grill Eric Abidal, the Barcelona sporting director, on any more potential ins and outs. The biggest takeaway was that journalists seemed to put together that Philippe Coutinho's place at Barcelona is somehow in danger. This is the guy who cost them 105 million pounds not that long ago, but it seems he may be used as a make weight in a move for Kylian Mbappe from PSG. So that's a lot to take in and it's also a lot to believe. And Abidal was understandably not too keen to give any details on that or the move for Adrian Rabiot, even though that seems a little bit more logical. Still, let's wait and see how these both pan out in January. La Liga rivals Real Madrid, meanwhile, seem keen to add some youth to their squad, with Brahim Diaz of Manchester City and Junior Firpo of Real Betis supposedly the two main targets. 19-year-old attacking midfielder Diaz, formerly of Malaga, is a good talent, but has failed to break into this City squad with any great regularity. Still, a 12 million pound bid might come City's way in the January transfer window to bring him to Madrid. Junior Firpo, meanwhile, looms as a long-term replacement for Marcelo. He's made left back his own at Real Betis since his debut two seasons ago. Still, he won't come cheap either. 50 million euros is said to be the sum that will activate his release clause. And now to Liverpool, and we've seen to have found the one man at Anfield who is not happy, Alberto Moreno. For those of you who don't remember him, Alberto Moreno's main two qualities are the occasional rude haircut and the fact that he's super quick. That's about it. Combine that with the fact that Andy Robertson is really quite good, it would explain why he's only played 254 minutes of football this season. Now, Moreno has been quoted on Spanish radio saying he finds Liverpool too cold and he does not like the way that Jurgen Klopp has treated him this season. His contract runs out at the end of the season, but a move could be up in January, so either way, he won't be cold much longer. We're thinking of you, Alberto. Finally, it's time for our Friday Feels, where we make the predictions and you guys weigh in for your own, whether that be the final scores, the goal scorers, the red card, or whatever you can think of. I'm going to concentrate on the Liverpool Arsenal blockbuster on Saturday. With a 2-1 win to Liverpool, my prediction as the Reds continue their massive run. I think Mo Salah and Sadio Mane will be the two men on the score sheet for the Reds, with Alba Miang to reply for the beaten Gunners. That's it for today. Let us know about that prediction, what you guys think, and the show in general. My name's Paddy. I've been filling in with Matt. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.